Hi, uh, my name is Dave Casuto, and I am the director of San Francisco Computer Tutors here in San Francisco, California. Uh, in this video, we are going to show you how to troubleshoot printers. If your printer is not working okay, how to troubleshoot it. And we're going to work specifically with Hewlett Packard or HP printers. So the first place I like to go is to go to the Start button down in the lower left, and then go to your Control Panel, and then you're going to go to your Printers and Faxes, and you should see your printer listed there. If it's not listed there, then that could actually be your first problem. If it's not listed there as one of your printers, then you need to install the drivers all over again. The one that I'm working with is my HP PhotoSmart 6100. It's got a check mark next to it, so that means it's the default printer. So what I want to do first of all to troubleshoot it, make sure it's actually what's called online. So I right click on it, and you're going to see down in the middle here it says use printer offline. If it says use printer online, then that means that it is actually offline. So you're going to want to put it back online, and then that should actually solve your problem. Okay, now moving on, um, if that's not the case, we're going to still remain here with our right click and go to properties. Now, a number of things that you can do here. Um, you can go ahead and print a test page from here um, and then see if it works, see if you're plugged in. Um, and you can also go to your ports. This is also very important. Make sure that the right port that you have selected. Um, is the one that, that you actually are working with. You can have a wireless printer, and that could be going to your um, IP address, right, for your, for your wireless router, or in this case, I'm connected directly to my USB. So that's working fine, right? Now, if you're with your wireless, you're gonna wanna make sure that the IP address is accurate. So you can configure your port, and you can look over here, printer name or IP address, and then make sure that that is the right IP address for your printer. Okay, so that's going to be some other things you can do. Um, and then also, of course, you want to make sure that it is actually plugged into your computer, period. Okay, because that's going to be very important as well. So um, in conclusion, just basically, you know, make sure you go into your control panel. Okay, right click on it. Go um, into your, uh, make sure it's online. And if it is online, go into your properties. Make sure that um, you, your ports are all set up. Um, and make sure it's all connected with it. I'm going to move mine back to my USB. Click OK. And good luck to you. Thanks. All right. Well, I hope you had as much fun as I did. Um, feel free to contact me anytime at Dave at D-E-Y-E-C. That's D-E-Y-E-C dot com. And you can check me out on the web also at D-E-Y-E-C dot com. Thanks and have a great day.